everyone what's up it's uh crack and packs here steve uh saturday morning i think it's 9 20 but i'm not sure i can't check because my phone is there but anyways we are going to go to uh or try to go through look for some cards here and do a video we got one uh two walmarts and there's more of the city areas uh here in western massachusetts and then we got a couple uh rural uh walmarts there's one that I'm not going to go to because tomorrow night I'm going to go to it. It's in a different town and I'm already going to be out that way. So that won't be a part of this. We're going to check one, two, three Walmarts. No, four Walmarts, one Target, and uh, maybe a Barnes & Noble. We've had some luck finding some cards and stuff there. So stay tuned. Let's see what we can find here on a retail hunt Saturday. All right, everyone, we just got out of the first Walmart in Springfield, Massachusetts, and completely barren shelves in the card section. This is a spot where I didn't used to check out, but now I make the drive out here, and uh, every now and then I'll pick up, you know, I'll get some fat packs and stuff that they'll be here, but uh, nothing at all today here. Dry, they had some Star Wars that I've gotten before, and nothing really great, and, you know, a bunch of Pokemon and, and Magic, and even the Pokemon, they didn't really have any of the newer stuff, so... Uh, first stop, empty-handed. We got about a 10-minute drive over, a hip, uh, hop, a skip, and a jump to Chicopee, Massachusetts now for another Walmart. And, uh, yeah, we'll go over there. And then from there, we've got another, uh, you know, longer drive to get out to, to back closer to my home. So, all right. Be back soon. Hopefully, we can find something. Everyone, we just hit up the second uh, Walmart here in Chicopee, Massachusetts, and we did have a little luck. So, unfortunately, there was a sign in the card section that there was a limit on baseball, football, and basketball cards. You could only buy um, two boxes, so two blaster boxes or hanger boxes, and or four individual packs. So, I kind of tried to pick out the best value. They had Donruss football hanger boxes and uh like fat packs i have a bunch of gravity packs at home Adonris. that's all i found so far i wasn't too concerned about getting some of those even though i was looking for mostly football but allen and ginter they had either fat packs or these um value packs so i decided to just get four of these allen and ginter value packs um there's three individual packs in them and looks like maybe something else a couple minis or something so, uh, yeah, so three Allen Ginter packs plus five exclusive gold parallel cards. So we got four of these. So that's not bad. It came to, um, like $47 after tax. They were like $11 each plus tax. So, uh, second stop of the day. We got a little luck anyways with some Allen and Ginter. And, uh, we'll see what we can do. Uh, when I'm done searching for the day, I'll go home and, I'll, you know, I'll open some stuff later on. So, uh, yeah. So on to the next stop, which is going to be, uh, Target in Hadley. Uh, Massachusetts. It's about a 25 minute drive from this Walmart, and but they have these more towards my area. So, see if we can fight off all the college kids and uh, see if they got some cards. The Target is where I usually had the best luck. My uh, girlfriend was there last night, however, and they only had gravity packs of Stadium Club Baseball. Um, she grabbed me a couple, and uh, but if they only have that, I might grab a couple just to open because I haven't opened any of those on the channel yet. But I haven't had too much good luck with Stadium Club. Um, this Walmart also had some Stadium Club blasters, but I just elected to not get those and go with some Allen & Ginter. Mostly looking for the football stuff and uh, Allen & Ginter. So, uh, yeah, so pretty good luck here at the Chickabee Walmart. We're on the Hadley. All right, guys, we just went to the Target here. This is the third stop of the day. We did have a little luck. Found a um, Darkness of Blaze blister pack Pokemon for my girlfriend. But besides that, I did find a little bit of baseball cards. They didn't have much... Um, Stadium Club was out that I had mentioned. Uh, there might have been some there because my girlfriend grabbed a couple last night. No no blasters, no megas, nothing. But I picked up some uh, gravity packs of Allen & Ginter. Uh, 11 in total. Um, that's pretty much all they had, so I figured I'd grab them. Um, but, yeah, we'll get these open for you. But on to the next stop, which is we got uh, two more to go, which is going to be one uh, Walmart that's right across the street from me here. And then a um, Walmart that's about another 20 or 30 minute drive past my house back there. But on to uh, Walmart and Hadley, Mass uh, next. 
one. Another Walmart, same case as the rest. Did not find anything here. Actually, I did find one thing. They had two blasters of uh, upper deck hockey. So I figured I'd get one for a little bit of variety open up. So, so far we got uh, some Allen and Ginter gravity packs and value packs and a blaster box of hockey. Uh, I got one more stop at a Walmart about half hour from here, but it's closer more towards my home. Um, so I got about another, I'm told about an hour driving and uh, I got to make a stop here at Home Depot though, pick up some stuff for the house and grab a quick lunch and then uh, hopefully be home shortly because I am getting tired. I've been out pretty much all morning here. So a we'll couple more stops in, uh, let's see if we find anything that one more Walmart to check out. And uh, I did find a couple of Pokemon packs at Barnes and Noble here as well that I picked up uh, for me and my girlfriend. So Thank you all for watching. I got one more stop. Let's see if we can find something good there. This particular Walmart I'm going to next has never had anything. I think I picked up like one clearance pack there once, but it's worth checking. We'll, we'll see. Hey everyone, cracking packs here with the first opening of our card hunting series after we've been out looking for cards this morning. We got our Allen and Ginter gravity packs, our four value packs we found at that one Walmart, plus a hockey uh, upper deck series one blaster box that we found only two of uh so not that great of luck today um out searching for a couple hours this morning but let's go ahead and get started first with some alan and ginter uh <clears throat> we'll do the gravity packs first i'm testing out a new microphone too for this video i picked up a blue snowball um and uh it's not fully set up but it's kind of set up enough for me to do the video so um, I can adjust some settings later on it. This is kind of just a trial run. Uh, all of this is a trial run. So, And uh, I got like an, an extension arm that can hook to my desk and come up with like a pop filter and stuff. So it would be like right by my face. And we will probably pick up the audio much better. But right now it's just volume maxed and ready to go. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 gravity packs out in the Ginter. These were um, $2.99 each at the local target so let's go ahead and start with these i'm going to put them off to the side and we can get rolling just didn't fully set up today or anything uh limited space going on here no little, little kitty's already trying to come up for some fun because that's what she does she's been in literally every video we've done she's at least made one appearance so first gravity pack of Alan and Ginter. So these are what the cards look like. Um, artistic type cards. And there's non-athletes as well in these. Plus baseball players. And mini cards. And stuff like that. And hopefully an autograph or two. We shall see. So we got a Eddie Murray from the Orioles. A Hanson. Looks like a singer. Courtney Hanson. TLC's Hit Car Makeover Show. Overhauling. Okay. I think I might have seen that show once or twice, but I don't recognize her. Uh, Corey Seeger. Lily. Get out of here. All right. Um, Corey Seeger. Blue Habitats. Uh, so there's like a series of rocks in this, which is kind of weird. Like I said, there's non sports. And uh, baseball stuff, so it gives you some uh, facts on the certain uh, rock or element. I think in previous years there's been airplanes and stuff like that in these instead. And we got a Thune, Nick Thune, which looks like he is a singer or something like that, country music. And our mini, I think every pack comes with a mini. We have an Alan and Ginter back uh, Kirby Yates. I don't too know too much about this this set yet, but there is parallels and stuff on these minis. Um, and this is an Alan Ginter back, so some of them have different backs to them. That was the first pack. Put all the minis in a pile. Alright, we got a Dakota Hudson, Juice, Hugo Juice Tangerin, Miami Marlins Barber, okay, Casey, Sean Casey from the Reds, 
And our Mini is also a Dakota Hudson. This is an Allen and Ginter back as well. We got a debut to remember. Um, Hayward, Jason Hayward, April 5th, 2010. And we got a Pete Alonzo base card. All right, so that's cool. I think there is a mini in every pack. And uh, Alan and Ginter also has rip cards, which is what it's kind of known for. Cards that you can rip open and have another card inside of them. We got a blue card here. Interesting. We got a Ryan Braun from the Brewers. Joey Gallo. No rookie cards yet so far. And Andy Pettit from the Yankees. We get an Empire. Nope. Taipei 101. Uh, Reach for the Sky. So these are some buildings. I know Empire State Building is on one of them. We got a Carabas, which is Jared Carabas. Sagas Rocket, three time award winning blogger. Journalist for Barstool Sports. Okay. I'm from Mass, and I didn't even know who he was. So that's cool. And we got a Monster Mini, which is Where Monsters Live Under the Bed. So as you can see, this is a very weird set of cards. There are some pack odds here, so even um, short prints are one in every two packs. I wonder how you tell what a short print is. There's different colored borders and parallels and such and glossies and mats and all sorts of weird stuff. But I do appreciate y'all watching my journey today. Try to find some cards. And at least we found some somewhat newer product in Allen and Ginter. Jesus Lusardo. Rookie card. Oh, see, there's the rookie card emblem on the bottom there. It's a little tough to see. I wonder if we might have got some other ones previously. Uh, Der Nyquist. Ryan Nyquist. Jake DeGrom. Very nice. Our mini is a Sahari Sights Giraffe. There's animal minis in these as well. They're like little insert sets. That's cool. Empire State Building, as I talked about in the last pack. So we got that insert. And we get a Zach Wheeler from the Phillies. We're about halfway done these gravity packs with Ginter. And I think in those value packs comes with three of the gravity packs plus some extra bonus thing. So we got a Jorge Soler. JT Romuto. Uh, Jay Buner, nice. And a Babe Ruth Mini, that's cool. And this is just the standard back. Again, I think the Allen and Ginter backs are like a parallel. We got a Long Ball Lore Acuna Jr. It's a nice looking insert. Go ahead and put the Acuna up there. And we get a Mike Fultonwitz. Bob Gibson, Bucky Lee Lassick, that's a skateboarder, another Jay Buhner, our mini in this pack is a Roberto Clemente, so that's nice, we got a Ruth and a Clemente, that's cool, a debut to remember, Louis Tiant, old school, and another Mike Fultonwitz. We got an Aristides Aquino rookie. That's cool. Put him up there. Nomar Mazzara. Mark Grace. Their mini in this one is a sperm whale. Plus we got a Diggin' Deep Silver Rock. Uh, Barry Larkin. And a filler card. Willie Stargill, Austin Meadows, Joe Morgan, 
another Where Monsters Live mini in the ocean. There's lots of info on the backs of these cards that you, that you, you know, when you're ripping them, you probably want to read through and get some cool little facts. An Alan and Ginter 2020 down on the farm. It's a tractor. Wonderful. So as you can see, just a super weird set. Verdugo in a Sox uniform. That's very nice. It's a good card for my collection. Pretty sweet. One of the uh, bright spots of the Red Sox this year. Verdugo. Tom Seaver uh, just passed away recently. Rest in peace. Howie Kendrick. Juan Gonzalez. A Bryce Harper mini. This is an Allen and Ginter back. Another down on the farm, a combine. And a, a Brandon McKay rookie. So we got two gravity packs left, and we're on to the value packs. Nothing crazily pulled so far. No autos or memorabilia cards or anything. Just a bunch of rocks. Right. Daryl Strawberry. Kirby Yates. Moises Alou. We got an Ozuna mini, regular back. And a Pyrite, digging deep. A Nico Horner rookie card. That's, a, that's an alright one. Put him up here in our little trifecta of nice pulls if he can stay. And a filler card. It's so last gravity feed pack. I know this video will be a little rough on the edges. It's trying something different, so we shall see how it comes out. Got to do some editing and such. Uh, Bo Bichette, rookie on top. There we go. It's very nice. You can go up here with the Nico Horner. And a Kyle Lewis, rookie. Nice. So two good rookies in a row. Two of the best of the class. Jose Barrios. Our mini in this is a Juan Moncada. Alan Ginter back. And a Jade Stone, digging deep. And a, another Brandon McKay rookie. All right, so that's it for the um, Gravity Packs. Got some nice rookies there. Bichette, Horner, Lewis, and Aquino. No complaints there. Part of the big five for this year. And some nice cool little inserts. And now let's get into these value packs. They have three packs plus five uh, gold parallel cards. There's our pack of parallels, and they are minis, so that's cool. Like I said, there's a limit on packs or at one store. So four packs or two blasters, and I got the four packs here. Figure the value packs give you the most value, you know, for only getting four things. Another Carabas. Another Horner Rookie. That's cool. Trevor Story. Another Under the Bed Monsters Mini. A world, one World Trade Center, which I think is the new building up there, right? And then a Chipper Jones. Like I said, these packs are essentially just the gravity feed packs wrapped into a value packaging. Another McKay. That's like the fourth McKay we've gotten in this opening. Abraham Toro, rookie. Uh, Hunter Erstad. Darian Erstad. Jock Peterson mini, regular back. Chernobyl, or Chris Soberol, uh, digging deep. And a Nyjah Huston, which is an X Games person in... Doesn't even say. Matsuhira Tanaka, AJ Puck rookie, nice. Uh, 
Trammell, Alan Trammell, a Whit Merrifield's mini, regular back. Haven't even seen any numbered cards or anything yet. A Lapis, digging deep, and a or hey Gregory Polanco. They don't put the names on the front either. Let's go ahead and look at our minis here and our exclusive parallel cards. Right, so yeah, these. This is uh, what they look like. We got Nakuna Jr., a Mike Musina. Mike Soroka, Brian Reynolds, and a Tony La Russa. The Acuna is a nice one. These are not numbered, they're just kind of got a different design on them. They all are. Minis, I'll have to maybe get some mini sleeves or something for those. Alright, a couple of these value packs left, and we'll do the one blaster of hockey. And it's called this day a wrap. Again, hopefully this turns out okay with the new Meg Friday. This will be a longer video too. Um, R.L. Stein, which is an author. You guys probably know did the Goosebumps series back in the day when I definitely read. Um, Clayton Kershaw. Ooh, we got a Alan Ginter Code Breakers autograph card be the first to crack the code I don't know what that is be the first to crack the code F follow the code master on twitter so this is just like a filler thing i don't know i'll have to look that up later i'm gonna put that aside um haven't seen that in all the packs we've opened yet uh citadels and Feeholds balmoral castle mini a Long Ball Lore, Willie Stargell. And a Nick Senzel. Justin Verlander. Castilla. Tommy Lasorda. Our mini is a Dan Vogelbach. I think he was recently let go of by the Mariners. Uh, Johnny Bench, Field Generals. And an Edwards, Julian Edwards. Oh, he was the kid actor in the Netflix original movie Bird Box, which I have not seen. But everyone memed on that for quite a while. Chris Davis, Sony Gray, Christian Yelich, Ladybird Beetle. Bugging Out Mini, Long Ball Lore, Hank Aaron, and a Mike Messina. And onto our parallel cards in this value pack. We can open this plastic without hurting them. We've got Eddie Matthews, Warren Spahn, Dave Winfield. Austin Meadows and Cecil Fielder, so mostly old timers pack, but that's cool. All right, two more value packs to go. Plus, we got one hockey blaster box that will open up quickly. I'm trying to increase my speed here. We're getting up there in time for the video, but I like taking my time going through all the cards, as you guys all know. Honus Wagner, Isan Diaz, rookie. Trevor Story, a Boomin City Shanghai Mini, Long Ball Lore, David Ortiz, that's a nice one for my collection, and a Ted Williams to follow, perfect, nice Boston pack there, perfect. Uh, Alex Bregman. Trey Mancini, Carlton Fisk, keeping the Red Sox train going. I like it. A Monsters, Where Monsters Live the Ocean. So we pulled four monster cards and they've been duplicates. Uh, Burha Khalifa building in Dubai. And a Nick Ahmed to end that pack. 
So we hit some nice rookies out of these openings so far, but nothing too crazy. And some cool inserts and nice PC cards. Matt Chapman, plus a whole bunch of minis. Robinson Cano, Goose Gossage. We got a Lion's Mane Jelly Behemoth's Beneath Mini. There's so many like little mini sets and all that in here. Um, it's like a, some kind of sea creature. And Wilson Contreras Field Generals. Some of these insert sets look very nice. And an Alfaro for the Marlins. And on our gold minis on this pack. I like how they consider these gold even though they're totally not gold. But... Uh, Trey Turner. Uh, Yamaguchi rookie card. Tony Gwynn. Uh, Banas, which is a uh, MTV is the challenge, all right, and a Tino Martinez for the Yankees. Last value pack here. We'll do the minis first this time since we we're on the mini train here. Got a Todd Helton, Marshall, Juan Marshall, Yordi Gurriel, Nomar Mazzara, and a Sean Casey. Nothing too outstanding there. Dansby Swanson, Justin Dunn, Ricky Card, Perez. Tony Perez, another Martial Mini, this time a regular, a Copper Digging Deep, and a Luis Arise for the Twinkies. Clayton Kershaw, Lucas Giolito, John Smoltz, Charlie Blackman Mini, Allen and Ginter back. A long ball lore, Jim Telmy in an Indians uniform, and Glaber Torres. Our two rookies there. A pile. Again, just very basic cards, a lot of base stuff. We didn't hit any hits, memorabilia, or autographs. We'll have to look through later on and try to figure out what some parallels might be, or some glossy cards, or matte cards, etc. Jackie Robinson, Jose Ramirez, Buster Posey. Our mini is a nice one, a Tatis Jr., Allen and Ginter back. That's pretty cool. Probably the best mini we've gotten. Comes in the last pack. Down on the farm, Irrigator. And timing up with a uh, Tommy Edmond. So that was Allen and Ginter. I'm going to put these aside. And we got our last box here for our Saturday card hunting which is going to be a blaster box of upper deck hockey. We're looking for Young Guns cards. There is eight cards per pack and six packs per box. So a little bit of a mixed sport action going on with this video. Um, the, the place that I had the Allen and Ginter and stuff had some Donner's football, but you can only buy with limits. And I already have a couple of blasters of Donner's to open. So didn't elect to get any of those. But I said, oh, I'll just pick up this one lone box of hockey to do something different. Plus, it's pretty much all that these stores kind of had. I did find a lot of Park Parker's hockey as well. It looks like, again, oversized card in here. I hate things that do, like, oversized stuff, but it's a Connor Timmons Young Guns oversized card for the Colorado Avalanche, who I thought had a good chance of winning the Stanley Cup, but they were knocked out in the second round of the playoffs so here's our upper deck packs and i uh, haven't opened any hockey yet on the channel so this will be a first i see our terrible goalie in the back there first shot let's see so these are what the cards look like this is a michael kempney from the capitals i'm not quite sure what i'm looking for here um mostly young guns david perron for the blues frank vetrano for the panthers used to be a bruin Anthony Sorelli for the Lightning. A Young Guns Ryan Poling from the Canadians. I know some of the Young Guns cards can, can go for a lot. 
uh, Henrik Borgstrom, Sam Bennett from the Flames, and here's our wonderful goalie I was talking about, who is absolutely terrible, uh, Tuka Rask. Definitely uh, along with many Bruins fans do not want to see him ever play another game in a Boston uniform. It has burnt us too many times. Jacob Chertrin and the Coyotes. Matt Dumba. Max Pancriati. A UD Polaris insert of Mark Stone and the Golden Knights. I do like the Knights, so that's cool. Kyle Oposo from the Sabres. Mikel Bodka, Senators. A dual card checklist, Brad Marsh and Ryan O'Reilly. And a Boone Jenner from the Blue Jackets. The base cards don't even look that great, in my opinion. They look okay. The Young Guns cards definitely have a nice design to them. And Upper Deck usually does pretty well with inserts. But the base cards, I think, are a little lacking to me. Philip Denault. Martin Jones. James Van Riemsdyk. Matthew Barzell, Leon Drotstil, Mikhail Backlund, Nathan McKinnon, Brad Richardson. I like watching people open up hockey cards who've never opened up hockey before because they can never pronounce any of the names. Hockey is a sport where you have to watch it to, to, to know names, basically, or be really good at pronouncing names. I think I'm pretty good with names because um, hockey has some doozies. Uh, Elias Lindholm. Tyler Sagan, Ryan Strom, Drew Dotty, a UD Canvas, Miko Shibanejad. That's cool. First Canvas card. I know those are a little sought after, too. Uh, Jared Spurgeon, Mike Green, and a Tyler DeFoley from the Kings. So far, we get a couple inserts and one Young Guns card. Would like to get some more Young Guns. Got a Christian Fisher, Oscar Clefboom, Eugenie Kuznetsov. Here we go. Young Guns Nathan Bastion for the Devils. So we got two Young Guns cards. Jacob Voracek, Alex Killorn, Sean Couturier, and Eric Stahl. Last pack. Again, first time opening this product, so I'm not 100% sure what I'm looking for other than the Young Guns. Brent Burns, Thomas Tatar, Josh Anderson, Dylan Strom, Rup Hintz, Chris Kreider, Marcus Sorensen, and our last card to end this opening is a Christian Dvorak. So we got two Young Guns cards, Nathan Bastion and Orion Poling, and a couple inserts. But thank you all for watching. Hopefully, uh, like I said, this video turns out okay. Uh, Saturday card hunting, episode one. And uh, peace out, everyone. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, follow, and all that fun stuff. Take care.